Good afternoon. In less than 24 hours, the 60-day legislative session will get going. Once again, there will be battles over minimum wage and driver's licenses for illegal immigrants. But the Roundhouse will be much different this year, with Republicans now running the show in the House. News 13's Cole Miller heard from both sides today. Cole? Well, Kim, you're going to want to keep an eye on the Roundhouse this go-around. That power shift could lead to some serious clashes. It's an enormous honor um, that the people of the state have chosen us to lead after, you know, 62 years. It's a change in power. Republicans now in control of the House. There will certainly be times when it's important for us to stand up and defend our principles. And as we near the start of this year's legislative session, the squaring off has already started. As Democrats, we will be supporting uh, legislation to increase our state's minimum wage. Santa Fe Representative Brian Egolf, the Democratic minority leader, wants that minimum wage hiked up to 1010 an hour. We'd be blowing the other states uh, in the region out by nearly $2. Republican Rep Nate Gentry of Albuquerque says they'll try to compromise, but that number is too high. His party will also look to undo the law that gives undocumented immigrants driver's licenses. New Mexico has become a magnet for criminal activity because of this policy, so we'd like to have it repealed. Dems say that would hurt thousands of kids, legal U.S. citizens who rely on their parents to get around. There's also the fight over right to work, which allows workers to opt out of unions. Pursuing the so-called right to work scheme is not about uh, working people, it's about uh, reducing paychecks. Currently, New Mexico is not a right to work state. Republicans want to change that. It's a matter of personal freedom. You know, people should not be required to join a union and pay union dues in order to provide for their family. Also, expect a fight over voter ID laws. It's a very serious, serious threat to our democracy here in New Mexico. Well, we need to make sure that you know we have integrity in our elections, that the that people who are uh, eligible uh, to vote are actually those who are voting. And education is also going to be a talker, as the governor will try again to pass a bill to hold back third graders if their reading isn't up to par. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Cole. Now, while all that is going on, lawmakers will be trying to hammer out a budget with less money than they anticipated because of the plummeting oil prices. Stay with News 13 for the start of the session tomorrow, beginning with the governor's State of the State address at noon.